Good morning and welcome to another Creative Home Podcast. My name is Kasha and today I want to talk to you about how to make a new house feel like home quickly and on a budget. Now some of you may be moving into new houses. I know the market, the real estate market is really hot. Houses are getting sold very quickly and as you're moving in you know there's a lot of stuff that you need to do when it comes to all that unpacking. You know what I mean? If you've moved several times like I have, you know you have, I have a system as to which rooms I start with first to get unpacked just to help make it feel like a home. And um, that's what I want to talk to you about today. So um, my biggest thing is my first room that I unpack after the beds are put together, because that's the number one thing that I make sure that the beds, when the movers bring them in, that they put them together and we, the sheets are ready to go to be put on top of them so that when we crash the first night, the beds are already done, that we're not, you know, trying to figure out where's the mattress that belongs to this room, why is this bed not put together? So the beds are the first thing I put together. But really, when it comes to feel like home, the kitchen needs to get under control. I need to get most of my kitchen stuff opened up. I actually have the packers or the movers unpack all of the kitchen boxes. Yes, it's going to be a mess, and yes, it's going to be there's going to be lots of paper because they use those dish packs. Um, but they get paid to open up those boxes anyway. And they have to haul them away because otherwise, think about all that paper and all those boxes. You have to figure out where to, you know, take them to the trash can, right? In some places, depending where you live, you have to find a place for them and figure out. There's no recycling for those boxes, and there's going to be tons, I'm sure. So, get your kitchen under control. Get you know all those dishes out, the bowls, the plates, the silverware, you know the little appliances you may not need, but you definitely would want to probably find that coffee pot, right? Hopefully you labeled a box that said coffee pot so you know where to grab it, right? So you have it for the next day. Um, so yeah, so get the kitchen under control. That's the biggest one for me. Um, the next thing that I work on is arranging the furniture. While that may not be um, the final position for these things, because a lot of times the movers just kind of throw the couch wherever you can find a space, because sometimes you really don't have a lot of space for everything with all the boxes that are coming in. So as you move through those boxes, you know, you're going to be moving the couch and, and things like that around. But the part that makes my house feel like a home quickly is hanging up pictures. You know they're going to be probably put in a thin box, an art box, if you will, um, normally they're about three to five, four feet wide by about six feet long, depending on the photos that you have, you know. So if you have family photos, large canvas pieces, all of those things, hanging up the artwork is what makes me feel more at home because I remember those photos, those art pieces, whatever, whatever things we have, like, oh, I remember this. Well, we had this in the, in the kitchen last time. Well, there's no wall in the kitchen, but let's put it in the dining room or laundry room or wherever, you know, uh, maybe you now have more space. That's why you moved, right? So now you have more walls to fill with artwork, right? Or maybe you have an open concept house and you lived in a colonial house like we did and now you have less walls to deal with and now you got to figure out, well, which ones do I pare down? So yeah, I know. Um, so yes, so hanging up photos for me is the thing that makes it feel like home because then the walls don't look so bare, okay? There's just, otherwise it just looks so empty <laughs> without it. Um, and then um, it just brings in color and a smile on my face, you know what I mean? Um, and if you don't know actually how to hang up your artwork, where to put it, what size, how many to put together. I actually have a new webinar coming up called How to Decorate Your Walls Like an Adult. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. Um, it's coming up May 26th at noon Eastern time. It's going to be live. Okay, so I do have a wait list. I'll put the link in the show notes so you can listen to it or watch it. Um, I am going to be live so you can ask me questions. Um, and then that way I will show you how to hang up artwork correctly, whether you have canvas pieces, framed pieces, mirrors, whatever, 
all that kind of different kind of stuff, give you ideas as to, you know, how high or where to put them together, how to put them together, that kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, so if you're interested on how to decorate your walls like an adult in that webinar, it is coming up May 26th. So if you're listening, today is May 17th. So you got some time, but there is the wait list to get on there. So that way, once um, I have the people signed up, I will send you a link to that Zoom um, call, and that way you can watch and join me, okay? All right, so yeah, so hanging up photos, artwork, all that kind of stuff helps me make my house feel like a home quickly, okay? Um, and then say you don't have certain things when you move into your new home. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's a bigger house, right? Um, so maybe you need to buy a few things. Maybe you need to get new bed sheets, right? Maybe sometimes the, a new bed cover is sometimes always fun just to kind of go, you know what, these old bed sheets from the last house are just not doing it for me anymore, you know? Um, so something like that, if you get a bed in a bag, as I call it, where it comes with a comforter, um, it comes with some shams, little pillows, pillow covers, things like that, that's always great. You know, a hundred bucks is something, you know, that you can find a bed in a bag like that, okay? Target, Home Goods, you know, those kinds of places, Walmart, okay? Um, maybe you need more towels now because you have now another bathroom. <laughs> uh, I always count the number of bathrooms before I buy a house and go, how many of these bathrooms do I need to clean? If it's like more than four, yeah, there's too many bathrooms. I'm like, no, because I'm the one that cleans them. But maybe you do have another bathroom now and I need to get more towels. So towels, um, like the big bath towels or hand towels, um, is probably what you need. A big bath towel can run you about eight to 10 bucks of towel, right? The hand towel is about four or five. And you can go to so many places that have, you know, towels like that, like Tuesday morning, Ross, Marshalls, those kinds of places, you know, you don't have to rely, you know, Walmart, obviously, Target, you know, they'll have definitely nicer ones. Um, so yeah, so towels are something that you can, you know, help you feel more like home, especially if they're brand new towels because you dealt with old, older ones, you know, the older ones you can donate to, um, like a dog shelter, right? They all will always love to take your old ratty towels because the dogs will play with them, pee on them, whatever. Okay. Um, sometimes you move into a house and realize you need curtains because maybe there's no curtains hanging up. The rods may be there, but you realize, oh man, <laughs> I need to get some curtains. Um, if you're a curtain kind of person, some people aren't, some people love their blinds. Maybe if you're lucky, you get blinds, um, that come with a house. We had plantation shutters that came with one of our houses. Um, and that was really nice. Um, but maybe you need to add curtains and curtains can run you about 25 to 30 bucks, um, a set at Tuesday morning. That's where I get mine. Cause they come in so many different colors and lengths. Okay. Um, and that's the important part because some places you go to like Bed Bath Beyond, they're like 80 bucks a set. I'm like, Oh my gosh. And if I got multiple windows to go through and add curtains to, yeah, that, that gets expensive really quick. So that's why I run to Tuesday morning to go get their curtains. And since they're only 25 to 30 bucks a set, um, you can change them out after a couple of years and not be really worried about it. Um, but like I said, some, uh, um, curtains will make my house feel like a home because, hey, you get some more privacy, right? Or you can order them online. Wayfair and all those places have curtains that you can look for online too. You know, maybe you need some room darkening ones because maybe in the bedroom that you're in, you realized, oh man, there's a, maybe there's a light um, outside, a lamp post or something like that that just shines into your bedroom in the middle of the night. And you're like, oh man, <laughs> so, you know what I mean, right? So yeah, so curtains are something that you may need to go get um, and they have those temporary paper ones that you can buy at like your Home Depot and Lowe's and places like that until you can actually find the ones that you want. Okay. And then another thing that you can make a home house feel like a home quickly, um, are rugs. Sometimes you may realize that, Oh, all the floors in our house are all wooden floors. They're not, or some LVL or something like that, but there's no carpeting whatsoever. We found that out in our German house here is we knew from the pictures that we saw before we came over that they don't do carpeting here. It is all um, tile or some kind of fl wood flooring, LVL, you know, those kinds of flooring. So I ha knew I had to bring more rugs with us, especially in the kids' bedrooms, because when you wake up and the floor is kind of cold, 
um, yeah, the, a nice warm rug to stand on or sit in for the kids to play on or something like that, you know, um, is always a good thing. So rugs can run you another, they start at about 80 bucks, 100 bucks, sometimes even more depending on where you go. Um, depending on, you know, how extravagant you want. Do you want them to be like a wool, you know, kind of a rug or do you, are you okay with some kind of polyester type mix? Um, there's many different kinds. Maybe it's a jute rug that you want. Um, so rugs also help making your house feel like a home because then it also helps deaden the sound because there will be an echoey sound. And you'll realize that once you put the rug down, you put the curtains up, you hang the artwork, you put the furniture in place, now you kind of deaden the sounds. It doesn't sound so echoey in there because if those things are missing, that's part of the reason why your home probably sounds echoey is because it doesn't have any texture, any fabric to absorb the sound that's coming, you know, off the floor and everything like that, right? So those are just a few things um, to make your new house feel like a home quickly and on a budget. Um, so again, if you're looking to spend probably about 500 bucks or less, that those are the couple things that I would recommend. Like I said, the new bed sheets or towels, some rugs and curtains and things like that. Those will that'll run you about 500 bucks, right? But all the other stuff is unpacking your own things and, and kind of putting those up around, like I said, the artwork and things like that and getting your kitchen under control and getting the beds put together. You know, you already have that stuff, right? Um, so that's how, what makes my house every time we've moved five times in 10 years. And then recently we've moved, gosh, like three times in like eight years or so now, it seems like. Yeah. So yeah, it keeps adding up. But like I said, if you are stuck with how to decorate your walls, um, I do have a webinar coming up. And like I said, take a look at the show notes for that link so you can sign up and get on the wait list. All right. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And just as a reminder, I'm only going to start doing these podcasts now once a week. So I will talk to you in a week. Talk to you later. Have a great week.